Here's how to make a non-layer dependent mask in Premiere Pro. This question is on a subreddit. The original thread can be found in the description. First, you want to import the media that you'll be using in this project. And you can place it in your timeline. Now, if you have already created a mask on the project, what you want to do is highlight the mask by clicking on it and copy that. Or cut it, one of the two. Once you copy it, you may want to delete it. Next, you want to create a color matte layer with a color that you can key out. A green or blue screen is the most common. So right click in your project, new item, color matte. And now I will try and go into the greens because that's really common. And if you have greens in your video that are being taken out, you can try a blue screen next. Now place the layer above the clip that you want to be masking out and paste the mask onto the color screen that you want to be using. You paste the mask on it by clicking onto opacity and hitting control V. Now I personally wouldn't feather these, but you can do whatever you want. Now there's one of the two things you can do. If you want the portion within the mask to be the portion that you will see in the final video, invert the mask. And if you want everything else to be selected, then don't invert the mask. But the part that you will be seeing is the part within the green screen, not the green screen itself. Now to simplify your timeline, highlight the clip that you want to mask in your color key and nest these two layers together. Now on the nested layer you can place the effect ultra key and use the eyedropper tool to select your chroma color out. And now you have your basic mask that isn't layer dependent. And you can see it's not layer dependent by going into your nested sequence and moving the layer underneath around. So now you can see her face. And if I go to the coordinating spot, you can see that her face has moved. So that's how you can change, move, animate anything underneath the mask without having the mask move itself. And if you want to copy the color key and have, say, a clip on the outside, you, what you can do is duplicate this and invert the mask. And so if I go back into the main timeline and go here, you can see where the mask is now inverted. And well, something else you can do if you want, you can take you can duplicate the layer underneath and place it under your nested layer to be able to have different effects. So if I'm here versus here and then say I wanted to move this layer up, you can start creating effects and do stuff like that. I hope this helped you in making your project and answer your question.